Savannah was this vivacious, beautiful little girl. She was typically developing until she was two and a half. That's when she had her first seizure. Then she had a couple of more, and then she went six months without having any seizures at all, and we thought everything was okay. At the age of three, the seizures came back, and they came back with a vengeance. She has not responded to conventional therapies at all, and so now she's 14 years old, and she still has seizures every day. She uh, is 14 physically, but mentally she is the age of about a four-year-old. Rebecca's our second child. She's 11 years old now. She was one year old. We noticed some abnormal body movements, and we went to our pediatrician at the time and said, look, we, we think there's something wrong, and our pediatrician assured us everything was fine. This went on for a few more months. Uh, we went in to do a test, and the doctor comes out and says, Mr. and Mrs. Siegel, I'm really sorry, your daughter has epilepsy. This summer she had her 10,000th seizure. We've been through seven different doctors, 24 different medicines, all sorts of alternative therapies, experiments left and right. You know, we know that there's still so much that's unknown about how the brain works. And for us, research is the key to the answer. And so I read everything I could get my hands on, and there came a point uh, after, you know, about a year and a half of her dealing with uncontrolled seizures where I was trying to read the scientific literature, and I thought to myself, I, I need to go back to college. And so that went on for four years, and I got an associate's degree, and I ended up with a bachelor's degree. And so I enrolled in a PhD program, and I guess it's been 11 years. I'm a fourth-year graduate student, in a neurobiology program at UC San Diego. And I have one goal, which is to study epilepsy because that's what gives you hope, right? The, the fact that there could be a cure. A lot of people now are waking up to the fact that early stage research is critical if we want to cure epilepsy, but cure has been at the forefront of this effort. And I think it's had a huge impact on scientists who want to go out there and test their ideas. We don't know what's going to work and what's going to create a breakthrough, but the more we fund, the more early stage bets we make, the higher our chances are for success. The CURE grant was a very important uh, first grant that allowed us very quickly to get started on a, a project that ultimately we're, we're confident it's going to be successful, not just for understanding epilepsy, but also to be used in new therapies development. The reason why I got into a science research in epilepsy is the fact that some of these children, when they come into the clinic the first time, they are normal. And with the seizures being difficult to control, um, then they have more and more cognitive problems. And I think t for these children, we need to to, to find a cure as soon as possible. If I had to tell you what's the worst part of living with epilepsy, I don't even know what I would tell you. I mean, is it watching your child have seizure after seizure? Is it, you know, watching them bite their tongue and bleed? Or is it the effects that it has on the family? Is it, you know, the depression that you suffer as a parent? Is it the grief? You know, is it the fact that I wake up every day and check to see if she's still alive. When you get together with people from Cure and you see the sense of passion and urgency, that's what makes you say, I'm going to keep going. I think by the very name of the organization, it speaks to what the immediate goal is. And while some would say this is not something that you can expect to happen next year or the year after, I think that it put the focus on what the goal ought to be. So we received this grant from QR in 2002 to investigate the possible involvement of inflammatory processes in the brain and the pathophysiology of seizures. So it was a novel idea and uh, thanks to this support we could uh, develop it. This idea uh, was uh, well accepted after a while because uh, we published data that convinced other people to work on it. And this is a personal mission. And it's this kind of an effort that I think is going to make a difference because their grants are funding what some might consider to be risky projects. 
and it's those risk-taking adventures that are going to lead to great breakthroughs. I'm, I'm absolutely convinced of it. Cure, uh, because of their connection personally to the disease, um, differentiates them in terms of the way that Cure can advocate at the federal level and at the private level and at the um, research level for this disease. And I find that that actually is probably the most valuable aspect of this group is that they identify with the disease in a very personal way. This disorder is destroying lives. It is damaging brains. It is devastating families. It's ripping them apart. Families are, are, are di divorces, there's depression, there's eating disorders, there are all these things that happen because the family is trying to cope with this devastating illness. And kids are dying. We've worked with Cure for 10 years. And in that 10 years, I feel we have really made a difference. We've grown, we've built a strong foundation. I think we've opened doors for many researchers and we have created much new awareness of the scope of the problem. However, there is so much still to be done. And if we can get more people involved, if we can raise awareness, if we can find out about the root causes of epilepsy and develop a cure or a series of cures, all the suffering, all the heartache, everything we've all been through will all be worth it so that kids in the future can live much more successful and productive lives. We needed a cure yesterday. We needed a cure 14 years ago for Savannah. We needed a cure 25 years ago for Lauren Axelrod. And look at how far we've come in 10 years. Epilepsy has taken, has taken so much from us. And it may take our daughter someday, but it can't take my hope. And that's what cure is, it's hope. <laughs>